uh, to conclude, the uh, our negative response to uh, limiting to keeping the funding the same. First, already there's private funding. One, two, state by state is already <coughs> doing it for themselves to privately fund, and these funds go to reputable facilities that will run the experiments. Also, although stem cells are more advanced in their research, they don't use embryo what what happens to embryonic stem cells right now is that researchers found that they have trouble differentiating between different types of, of cell. In a study by the Mayo Clinic, researchers don't researchers, researchers say that sometimes stem cells are put into the body to become a heart, and oh, but sometimes they don't attach and differentiate. Sometimes they become bone cells, which are potentially dangerous. Researchers also found that embryonic stem cells have the potential to become tumors. This happens in a lot of the uh, animal experiments that they they tried, and that <coughs> embryonic stem cells can also trigger the immune system to attack the, the body as a because it's a foreign invader. Stem cell research has been done since the late 60s in the terms of bone marrow and, and, and from uh, umbilical cord blood, which has uh, successfully in clinical trials to treat a lot of uh, rare genetic diseases. Adult stem cells have been, <coughs> are able to transform into embryonic stem cells. They act the same way they've been reprogrammed to be just exactly like embryonic stem cells. So there's really no need to further put money into embryonic stem cells when there's money out there privately and that <coughs> the progress in adult stem cells in replicating it to be just like embryonic stem cells is more advanced than previously thought. Thank you.